What's going on you guys, it's Motorcycle Boss, and this time I'm gonna be doing a review for a motorcycle camera system sent to me by Viofo. Let's get into it. This review is sponsored by Viofo. Link will be in the description so you can take a look at their product. Now keep in mind that even though Viofo sponsored this, they sent this to me completely for free. There were no strings attached. They did not require me to say anything good about this product. So this is a completely honest review. The specifications that they claim on this is actually pretty nice. Also keep in mind that everything that I use in this video, including the camera system, will be linked down in the description and they are Amazon affiliate links. I do get a little bit of a kickback, but you guys don't pay anything extra. So go ahead and look in the description and hopefully you'll find something that you like. First impressions, the packaging is actually pretty well done. Seems like they did a pretty good job of keeping the materials of decent quality, as well as clearly labeling the inputs and outputs. Now this is my first motorcycle camera system, but I am curious about your guys' feedback. If you happen to have had one or currently have one or you want one, I would like to know down in the comments your experience and if you're looking for one, what are you looking for in one? And I read all comments. I will be reading constantly. Those are the full HD 1920 by 1080 cameras. And then we have the remote, which of course has just one single connector that allows you to do Wi-Fi as well as hit manual recording. Next up is the GPS logger. We'll get into that a little bit later. The power cable has battery power, battery ground, as well as a blue trigger wire so that way it's not continually running when it's not turned on, or at least when the bike is not turned on. We have a bunch of different mounts as well as a bunch of different replacement sticky pads so that way you can remount it to different locations. Comes with an SD card, which is pretty awesome, a micro SD with 32 gigs. I'm really glad that they included that because a lot of places uh, or a lot of different products, they don't really include something like that. The connectors have a notch, so you just have to make sure you line up the notch and then just screw them together. Simple as that. This is what the whole thing looks like, completely assembled. Let's get to working on the bike and installing this thing. One thing I can give them props on is that the installation for this was extremely simple. They did a very good job of making this pretty much dummy proof. So now we're gonna be doing the parasitic draw test. With this test, we wanna see how much load it's putting on the bike when the bike is not running at all. This will be able to tell me if it's gonna be draining the battery or not. And in this case, it unfortunately is a little bit, just for my bike. I shouldn't be anything higher than 2.5 milliamps. So because of that, I would recommend getting a relay for this bike.
Now inside the app, connecting to the module is very easy. I just turn the key so that way the trigger wire gets power and that way it'll power the system on and let you get to the Wi-Fi part so you can connect to it. All you do is download the free app and then just jump right into it. Now you can see all the different parameters that you can adjust in the settings of the app. So one thing I did notice is that sometimes you would make an adjustment and it says that it loaded it successfully, but it doesn't really take all the time or you power the bike off and back on and then the setting resets itself. This might be something that they'll fix in a future uh, firmware update, but we'll see. All in all, the software seems to be fairly responsive. It's not very laggy, fortunately. So one thing that I noticed that was kind of irritating was it does have a function to where if you get in an accident or there is a really fast or hard G load shock, then it will lock that file of the most recent event. And then that way it keeps you from deleting it. And the only way you can delete it is if you actually take the micro SD card out, plug it into your computer, and then you can delete it that way. Just to make sure that if there's an accident, it's saved. The only thing is that that sensitivity is very sensitive. So I went on a brief ride and it triggered constantly anytime I'd hit a gutter or a speed bump or something like that. So I recommend just turn it off. Now the real time loading is actually pretty good. And then as well as downloading files wirelessly, it actually went pretty quick. If you feel like you're gaining any kind of helpful information in this review, please consider giving me a like. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm and consider subscribing. This channel is all about motorcycle mechanics and motorcycle related content, just that like reviews. So hopefully you will subscribe. It would help out a lot and I'd really appreciate it. So now I'll shut up and I'll let the camera speak for itself. Here's what the footage looks like in the couple of different tests that I decided to run. Good boy. <laughs> Now regarding the GPS logger system, there is a software that you have to download that is paid, that you have to pay for, that is called Dashcam Viewer. And that will allow you to see all of the, the location data, speed included, that is in the file that's already been recorded. So you have to pay more than what the cost of the unit costs in order to see something that you're supposed to be able to see anyway. So when it comes to that, if you're getting this specifically for the GPS logger function, to me, it's a complete gimmick. Don't even get it for that reason. Personally, I don't need it and I didn't want it. So that doesn't really affect me much, but it might be a deal breaker for some other people. One thing that I was personally impressed with was the nighttime clarity. It had a very good range of, I would say HDR. It does have like a wide dynamic range setting that you can put in the settings. It actually seems like it did a pretty good job. What it does is it captures the darkest point and the lightest point of what it's seeing, and then it finds a good middle ground, and that's how it's able to kind of figure out its exposure, or maybe it does like a overlay or something like that. But I would say nighttime, it actually did a very good job. Personally, I'm impressed. So now I'm wondering, 
Who is this for? Personally, I would say this is gonna be anywhere from people who have motorcycles, mopeds, moto vloggers, or even people who run security and have a golf cart or something like that. So that way they can keep track of any incidents that they run into. I think this is gonna have a wide implication. However, I also feel like this camera system may be somewhat run of the mill. It is very good and the installation was flawless and super easy, but I can see other camera systems that are a little bit cheaper that seem to offer similar technology. But for what it is, it is a very good camera system personally. I would recommend it as long as you're willing to dish out the money. All right, you guys, that's the end of my review. I hope I was able to give you guys some valuable information and thank you Viofo for sending me this camera system for review and thank you to my subscribers for being such loyal, loyal patrons. I really appreciate it. So go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. Give this a like, it really helps me out and I'd really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next one.